Six days later, the second critical event leading up to Palm Sunday and Holy Week occurred, the Transfiguration. And these events all build upon each other and are all masterfully used by Christ to prepare and to empower his followers and to strengthen their faith for what is soon to come. Christ uses these events in, in a sense to place an exclamation point on all of his teachings. To illumine the Christ consciousness in others by showing what is possible through his living, shining example. So six days later, Jesus takes John, Peter, and James. Interestingly, he only takes these three with him. Maybe they were the only three that were inwardly prepared to receive what was about to happen. But he takes John, Peter, and James to the top of another mountain that some believe to be Mount Tabor, which is 55 miles south of Caesarea Philippi, towards Jerusalem. And this is the great mystical experience of the transfiguration. A moment where Christ reveals to these three disciples the reality of eternal life and the radiance and power of God indwelling the human soul. Jesus parted the veils between the inner worlds and physical life and momentarily revealed his inner brilliance of God light for these disciples, showing them his soul. He became illumined with brilliant, brilliant rays of light and is seen with Moses and Elijah illumined in their soul bodies as well, both of whom had died physically centuries earlier. This was a wondrous demonstration that proved the eternal life of the soul, that our true essence is God light. Just the perfect demonstration to show these three disciples to strengthen their faith just prior to Jesus' crucifixion. And Christ is also showing that he is the bridge between heaven and earth, between the physical and the spiritual, between the temporal and the eternal. The biblical account states, there he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then, there appeared before them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Moses and Elijah were speaking to Jesus of his exodus from the world, which was soon to be fulfilled in Jerusalem. A bright cloud full of light covered them. And a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down on the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. And he said, Get up. Don't be afraid. When the disciples looked up, they saw no one except Jesus standing before them in his physical body. The transfiguration is the only recorded time before the resurrection where any of the disciples saw Jesus in his inner reality, where he gave a demonstration of the immortal soul. And think of the tremendous impact that this would have had on them. 